Hello everyone, my name is R and welcome to the 34th devlog of my base building game Chambers of Devious Design Alright, let's get started right away So these past two weeks I've been doing a, a lot of testing in the game and then making some changes and bug fixes based on that testing I also made one fairly significant change to my gameplay logic that I will showcase right away. I now have the old version enabled, so let me show you how it worked before and what inspired me to change it. First, I will activate this ability that will duplicate my next room effect. So let's use that. And then I will place a laser room, let's say here, so it will fire twice. Yep. And the kind of issue you might have noticed there was that Okay, it fired once and destroyed the room over here But then it reactivated and well It shot at the destroyed room and did nothing And that is perfectly okay I mean, it works as it should <laughs> I mean, like it worked before But when I was testing the game out, I noticed that it was very fun because sometimes you kind of accidentally use the like extra effect and then the yeah the laser shot twice but actually didn't really do anything extra for you. So what did I change? Well, let's see how it works now. So again I will activate the double effect and then place it over here. So yeah, now before the next activation it will check if any rooms are destroyed and then fade those away and then after that it will do the new shot. And this actually works with all the other effects in the game also. So the other player has this deal 3 damage to a room ability so I can use it for example here and the room will disappear. Uh, instantly after it's destroyed. Previously it was so that uh, these rooms would only get like faded away when the turn is over. But now you can for example, I don't know, maybe you ha if you had like a large block that couldn't fit here but you wanted to place it, it there so you could just destroy that room and then go ahead and place that room there so so yeah I think it's more dynamic and more fun this way I think the old version maybe like balance wise was slightly better but my game really isn't like it's not really a online PvP game or anything so the balance I think comes secondary to the fun aspect so so yeah I think this this version is more fun, you can like <laughs> drill with the laser through an enemy compound and whatnot. Making this change was actually a bit messy. I mean, the change itself was easy just to have another check, uh, like in the middle of the turn, to see if any room should get faded away. But since the logic before was different, and I had built all the other logic to like accommodate that old logic there were many like these kind of like edge cases that I had to figure out how things will get handled and when the game should wait to see if it should like handle the destroyed rooms uh, when the turn is still going on and yeah kind of like <laughs> many bugs to fix because of that it's always a bit annoying like making some major logic changes to the game this late when I'm so close to releasing it but I felt like it was worth it so yeah and I hope I managed to catch all the bugs already and actually one also change I made to the game based on this like messy addition this late on 
was that I actually added some like safeguards to my code. The safeguard has this like timer for the turn, like if certain steps are taking too long, it will check if there might be an issue and then try to resolve that issue. <laughs> it's actually a very simple code, it sounds more fancier than it actually is. But yeah, basically the idea is that if the game would get frozen, like due to the common reasons that it could get frozen due to a bug or something, like just like there's some tag remaining that should have been removed but it wasn't for some reason, then that safeguard will remove that tag and like let the player continue the game. So even if there are some bugs remaining, I hope this addition of a safeguard will make it so that the player can still continue the game and yeah, I think that's that's most important. Then while I was testing the game on my laptop, I noticed this annoying bug that the uh, like fog effect I have in the game was kind of messed up. It had all these glitchy lines, whereas it should have been a smooth pattern. With some googling I came to the conclusion that it's some kind of a precision issue with my noise node in the shader graph. The fog is so big and to get the like pattern I wanted I had to scale it also. I don't remember actually in which direction. But yeah, this all apparently resulted in some older hardware not really being able to fully show it how it's supposed to be shown. I tried to troubleshoot it many different ways and I also asked help from my Discord and got some new things to try out but nothing really seemed to work so I decided to add this low spec mode which <laughs> basically makes the fork look more crappy but on older hardware I think it's the better option so it won't look so jagged and, and yeah and I actually also had the same problem with the like uh, this ground material not to the same extent but yeah sometimes it was also noticeable because I also had this noise pattern there to give some like extra variation uh, to the floors so yeah this low spec mode basically adjusts both of those to look a <laughs> slightly worse version but doesn't have those jacked ed edges and actually this low spec thing was also an idea I got from the Discord from two technical, so yeah, thanks for the idea. Aside from those, I also made a bunch of different like quality of light changes and yeah, <laughs> lots of bug fixes also. And then some gameplay adjustments and yeah, I don't know if there's like <laughs> anything too exciting to show actually. I added this. Okay, so they won't work in the game itself, but if I go to the main menu, I added this tool tips to help a bit with some of the like uh, settings that maybe aren't so like self-explanatory what they will do. Yeah, that's one thing. And then uh, basically, yeah, I made some shapes less common. One of the more like annoying ones. Adjusted some door locations to make it also less annoying in some cases. UI improvements, gameplay improvements, yeah. Some campaign map changes, game type changes. So yeah, a bunch of different changes that I hope will make the gameplay a bit smoother. And actually I'm now at the point where I'm pretty much done with my own testing. And I would say the game is like 99% ready maybe even 100 if there aren't like any bugs that appear in the beta test and actually yeah i think after this after i'm done filming this video i will start working on the beta test to get a few like extra eyeballs on the game and and yeah it's it's looking good at this point so yeah i'm, I'm excited to go forward all right but hey that was pretty much everything i had to show in this devlog. 
I would love to hear if you have any opinions on what I did or anything else you have in mind. Yeah, nothing else, so thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.